Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. I gotta get the mic a little bit closer. Here we are. No green screen, so we're gonna move a little bit closer there. All right. So how's everybody doing on this Saturday morning? Let's see if uh, eleven o'clock is better, or twelve o'clock is better, or one o'clock is better. I just have to be uh, busy a little bit later today, so figured I'd go ahead and just get this out of the way a little earlier. See if anybody else jumps on. It's currently telling me there's five people watching, but I think there's probably more than that. Oh, we just jumped to nine. Can we get double digits? Can we get double digits? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Well, hello everybody, the boss. Greetings, or hey-yo, greetings. Hey-yo, hey-yo. All right, uh, Richard Addison, greetings. I know what Facebook is doing. Uh, uh, I hate it, but sorry to say this, but only morons use it. No shortage of morons keep bumping me in, uh, bumping into me because I can't get their eyes off it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, dopamine junkies. Analog, $5 super chat, thank you. Small housewarming gift. Awesome. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. All right. Let's see. Let me jump on over to uh, throw the comment feed up there while we get started on this. There we are. Morning, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. Hello there. Richard Eisen, hello again. Uh, must still be waking up. Well, I mean, I was, I mean I'm trying, I was trying to sleep in really late, and it's like I couldn't sleep past like 8.30. I'm like, really? Really? That's it? All right. Whatever. So I got up, did some other things, and... Go by Roman standards, the thumbs up was a bad thing. Well, you know, I mean, death. He's referring to uh, in the Colosseums when someone would, a uh, Roman soldier, a gladiator would knock somebody over. If the, if the crowd did the thumbs up, it was death. Um, and so, yeah, you know, maybe thumbs up means death. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, uh, let's see, Mugen, hello there. A lot of people don't know that one. Um, not really ever. Gladius under the rib cage doesn't sound too nice. Mugen is AFK. All right. Let me actually move this over to live chat. See if uh, see if there's anything more I'm missing. Uh, Red Hut, greetings. Hi, Richard Addison. How are you? All right, Noah, how's it going there, Noah? Andy, Andy, hello there, lovely kitty. Thank you, Andy, Andy, how are you? All right, James Miller, how's it going there? Oh, oh kitty's going to get so sick of this. Hi, James Miller. He's like, dude, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. Special hellos from the kitty. All right, um, love us, good morning to you. Transato, hello. 5 p.m. there. All right, so maybe this isn't too bad of a time. I don't know. 20 on my side, but one never knows. A high IQ in this culture is frowned upon. Correct. Well, particularly someone who can critically think for themselves is the most thing that's frowned upon. High IQ people, uh, a lot of high IQ people um, can very much be trained to just keep following the orders like everyone else. What they want is people to follow orders, not people who can critically and independently think. So, of course, we're going to be talking today on our topic of should social media have statute of limitations? And this is an interesting question. I was looking for more examples. I know there were like there were, there have been about a good several dozen examples that but since I don't follow social media and I don't really follow drama, I couldn't point to any of them exactly. So I couldn't remember exactly where or who all these are. Of course, the most famous one is James Gunn. And, uh, of course, um, in response to uh, the latest firing, Disney and Marvel has finally put Guardian of the Galaxy on production hold. I think a lot of this is the crew members, the, the, sta the, the actors were like, dude, we're not, acting, we're not going to act in this thing if you don't bring back James Gunn. Okay, so to unfold this, of course, James Gunn had some fairly offensive, in fact, excessively offensive things on his social media. Um, and they were kind of things that were mm, dabbling towards pedophilia, which is not good. I'm not saying this is good. I'm not saying necessarily give the guy a free pass, but these were 10 years old. Okay. Now, understanding that, uh, and, and there was also in the cases this week was the entire final fallout case 
uh, with the Catholic, uh, the Catholic abuse scandals, which was centered and waged right here in Pennsylvania. And the problem is many of these Catholic priests could not be prosecuted because of statute of limitations has run out. And if I'm, I'm like statute of limitations for a lot of your like more misdemeanor type crimes is more like, I think it's seven years. I think maybe misdemeanors is like three years. Felonies is seven years outside of first degree rape or any type of murder, I think doesn't have one. Um, and there was another specific limitation on the particular areas here surrounding uh, this other topic. And I'm trying to remember, I think it was something like after the person's, I don't know, like 25th birthday or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. But basically, all these Catholic priests got a pass <laughs> because of statute of limitations. Yet we can go back and if anyone wants to find anything dirty on any person, just dig back through their history, focus specifically on it, and see if you can't find something embarrassing the guy has said over a decade ago, which is well beyond statute of limitations for a felony violation. Something James Gunn said over a decade ago gets him fired from a very successful show. This is ridiculous. Now, I don't know what this statute of limitations might look like. It might look like maybe this, the social media companies need to simply purge and delete all things after a certain number amount of time. There's a problem with that, and that's that the internet does live on forever. So I think it'd be a whole lot more, one moment, the cat is doing something he should not be. My apologies. I had a couple bags on the uh, on the ground there, and so the uh, cat's digging through them. I don't want the kitty eating plastic bags. No, not be cool. All right. So anyway, um, uh, what I would favor this be saying is maybe after maybe after a two or a three year period of time, because people grow, right? Maybe you make it three or five year period of time. Any social media, I, we should maybe have a law in our land. Any social media after a certain age cannot in any way be used against a person. Because it just makes more sense. It makes more sense, right? We grow, we change as people. In this case, of course, James Gunn was, I guess, what you would call it, maybe a blue comedian. So if you're not familiar with that concept, like Bob Saget is one of these. If you go into the places where Bob Saget is doing a stand-up routine where they don't allow cameras, they don't allow recording, they don't allow cell phones, all this kind of stuff, because it is rotten, disgusting, nasty, and vulgar. And uh, I have a friend with a brother in uh, San Francisco where Saget either lives or tours a lot, watched him in one of these blue show performances and the vile things he was saying about the children he worked with on Full House would be like enough to, to like, I mean, if you, James Gunn had one or two bad things on Twitter, you'd be crucifying this guy in the streets. But there's not a good written record of it. The problem with social media, now I personally, I don't use social media. I think it's stupid and I think it's dangerous. I think people need to think a little bit more before utilizing social media. The reason I don't is because it's writing stuff on ink on the internet for the whole world to see. And it can be archived and someone can save it. And then a decade later, and we have solid examples of this, a decade later, something stupid you wrote and then maybe a drunken haze or whatever else on social media is used against you. You lose your jobs. You could lose your family. You could lose everything because of something stupid in 144 characters that was said over a decade ago. So maybe we need to start considering laws because social media is such a pervasive part of our culture. It's become the refrain now. If you're mad at somebody, you just dig through their past and find anything that's embarrassing. And in 144 characters, you don't have time to develop context. And so maybe we need to have laws in this country that says any social media thing past a certain age cannot be used against you unless... It is a specific part 
of a specific pattern. So if he, James Gunn were still today sitting here doing all of this vile stuff, all this vile stuff still going on, if that's still the case, still going on, all that vile stuff, maybe then you could go back and pull it in to establish a history. But if he said something a decade ago and you had to go a decade back to find something bad, maybe we need to rethink this whole utilizing social media to crucify public figures. Now, I don't really have much of a dog in the fight. I saw the first Guardians of the Galaxy twice, I think. I saw it once in the theater because a friend wanted to see it, and it was a good movie. But, so, <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, I didn't see the second one. I really didn't care to. Um, I don't care if there's a third one or not. I don't have a dog in this fight. Or maybe I don't have a raccoon in this fight. I don't know. Um, but regardless, um, the problematic thing is that this is a guy who apparently is doing a good job. Apparently the crew really liked work with this guy. This isn't a Harvey Weinstein, okay? This isn't a Harvey Weinstein. This is, this is a guy with a lot of respect up until somebody got mad at him and dug through his past to find something stupid he said 10 years ago. Okay? To put it again in context, a Catholic priest engaging in the acts could not be prosecuted or lose anything, but a guy talking about something stupid a decade ago lands him completely fired. What in the world is going on in the stupidity of our world right now? Guys, social media is a bane. This is why I don't use it outside of maybe YouTube here. And I can imagine somebody clapping this guy into pieces and that'd be kind of fun. Um, and so in, in that kind of respect, it's like we've lost our ever-loving mind. Our world is so polarized our viewpoints are so polarized and the people, the only people that I see are being tolerant are the people that are like, yeah, I kind of disagree with all the stuff you're saying, but hey, to each his own, whatever. But then the other view is like, that's so bad. That's so offensive. That's so bad. And then they just have a, they have a meltdown, a meltdown because it's just like, ah, the world's not seeing itself like I'm seeing by the world. Dude, who cares? Who cares? Lord. I mean, come on. Come on. You want to preach tolerance, but you're the most intolerant people in the world. So stop digging through decades old social media posts to find one thing unflattering. This is insane. What do you guys think? Let me know. Uh, can't get Wi-Fi to work on my father's Asus laptop with Linux Mint. Hmm. Is it the drivers? Is it the Broadcom drivers? Check the drivers system and see if that's what fixes it. Hmm. I walk around disgusted into a moron. Huh. There's a city in Mexico that threw out all police and politicians and crime is almost non-existent. <laughs> nice. There's actually, there's actually a place like that in the United States. It's called Slab City. Um, it's, it's a place that is involved in this giant uh, battle. I'm not sure if they've resolved it. Last I knew they haven't. Um, but it was an old military base and there's a big land dispute. So it's literally a Taz. Um, uh, so it's a... Um, uh, a what's the acronym for TAS? I forget what TAS is. Um, but it's, uh, it basically, there are no laws. Police don't go there. And just a whole bunch of guys that just kind of set up camp there every, uh, every winter. Of course, it's too hot in the summer. It's not too far from Death Valley. I think it's just like maybe a little bit north. Where is it? I don't know if it's California or Nevada. I thought it was in California. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, I think it's California. It's pretty close to Yuma. Um, and there's essentially no laws, no rules, no anything. Um, and there's no crime. This is nobody cares. I mean, you try and push somebody out, you're going to get hurt. That's it. But I mean, y yeah, you do it with politicians and police and it tends to does indeed resolve a lot of, a lot of those crime issues. <laughs> so yeah, that being said, kind of, kind of, kind of funny. 
Uh, getting rid of the ads on social media. I don't think the ads on social media is necessarily the problem. I think it's the people on social media. We got to get rid of the people on social media. Um, just don't want to scare off the morons. Be right back. Back. Greetings. Be right back, OCD. <laughs> All right. Really just following herdish rules. There you go. Still processing? I don't know. What's processing? This is why you don't log in with your real name and surname. Yep. What's up, Mark? How's it going there? Hello, Pseudo Reboot. Good afternoon to you. Don't use that service. Whoa. Apt Purge. Apt Purge Facebook. Apt Purge Twitter. Apt Purge Social Media. Confused on how this is related to how this related to the priests. Okay, if you're confused about how this related to the priests, there was a giant sex abuse scandal going on in the Catholic Church that was covered up for almost a good 60 years. Most of the priests priests were not allowed to be prosecuted for actually engaging in the act of pedophilia. But James Gunn, who's never done any such acts, over a decade ago listed some uncouth comments teetering with that general viewpoint gets fired in present age for simply mentioning it on a social media post. My point is statute of limitations has run out for the priests, but there is no statute of limitations for what you say on social media. So in theory, 20 years down the road, if social media is still a thing, you could get fired for saying something you said when you were 17 years old on Twitter. But if, as a 17-year-old, you also committed an immoral or indecent act, statute of limitations would have run out on that. And you could not be prosecuted for engaging in the actual criminal act. But saying something on Twitter ruins your entire livelihood. That is my point. Uh, take politics and military out of situation. Society will write itself. Yep. Of Twitter, but barely use it. Probably delete it today. If you use it for business, I mean, just use it. But if it's a personal thing, hey, look, I tweeted my food. Dude, nobody cares, really. So it's politicians and government that divides people. Yeah, and it is. It is. It's politicians, it's the government, it, it, that, and, and in some degree, uh, companies are dividing a lot of people right now. For sure. For sure. All right. Okay, I'm a complete nutcase, but everyone else is normal. Yep. Those who say they are normal, take care. Yep. Heard of Slap City and some stuff about it on YouTube. Yep. <clears throat> one day all streams will be liked. Until that day, help this one. All right. Thank you, man. Okay, the YouTube channel Nomadic, uh, fan Nomadic Fanatic does a couple good Slap City videos. Oh, cool. I'll have to look at those. Don't know if my first post sent. Trying it again. I've been on Mint since August 2013. Can't live without KDE. I have 19, but I guess hate it. The wine does not like my audio editor app. Um, you know, you can actually install. Um, you can install KDE on Mint. Um, uh, I actually did a video on it. Now I I did have an incorrect thing in there. Um, the Extra item you want to do is uh, sudo apt install kde dash full will fix everything else in the kde areas. But yeah, you can actually um, you can actually install kde on top of Linux Mint. Um, you you use what you do is you use the Kubuntu backports. Hmm. Okay, it's switch to Linux. What if we were in control of this country and there was no government body at all? Yeah, I mean, we need some semblance of government, just not as intrusive as it is right now because it's just getting too big and too crazy. Yes, and we are indeed in interesting times. Oh, Pseudo Reboot does a good impersonation of normal. Okay, that's good to know. Said it started this way, Nazi Germany, the difference in modern media. Don't really care for social networking. Signal is available. Yeah. 
I was thinking about doing a, a video about how to set up your own family specific social media. Would that be a fascinating video or not? I don't know. You guys let me know. You know that scientists are working on drones as small as a mosquito. Yep. <clears throat> I'll be working on a uh, EMP surrounding field and buying a bunch of woods in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Actually, no, you know what I'll just do? I'm just going to uh, deploy the thing. You know, that Microsoft, um, Microsoft, of course, working on their malaria problem through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. They actually utilized spare parts from an Xbox and developed a laser-guided system that shoots mosquitoes out of the sky. It's awesome. Maybe I'll just deploy one of those. <laughs> they can come at me with my, their mosquito drones. I'll, I'll shoot them down with my Xbox lasers. <laughs> <laughs> Piotr, greetings. Just finished watching last night's stream. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, alt app revolution must begin with a defense of transparency without typical corporate re, uh, retribution because they enjoy being paid handmaids of the NSA and others. King of Games, you didn't get notified. No, no. And we've already talked about most of the topic. We can summarize it, though, later if we want. Uh, do I have any predictions of 2019? Well, I hope that the world will end, but I'm not completely sure. Um, I'm okay. Nuclear holocaust. Um, Yellowstone erupting. Um, aliens visiting and Independence Day us out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, but... Yeah, so 2019. Ooh, I don't know. I, I'm not good with the future predictions. I I have uh, my track record is is not good on future predictions. So let me let me though throw some crazy stuff out and and uh, let's see how much of it doesn't come true. Um, predictions 2018. I or 2019. I think that we're going to start to see we're going to start to see more people caring a little bit more about privacy as. This last year saw major leaks and major amounts of data. And so that is certainly uh, certainly a big issue. Um, we might see start seeing uh, more competition into the YouTube world and more independent creators developing their own platforms. And uh, which I think is probably almost in a way bad um, because it... Just like social media, and not social media, well, yeah, social media and their algorithms. Just like social media and their algorithms do, um, it starts to narrow our viewpoint. Uh, we may see, I don't know if we'd see, nah, we won't do that. I'm not going to do that prediction, but yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of that kind of stuff. A whole lot of it, a whole lot of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be any more predictions on that. One for video on deploying social media for your family. All right. PA is the most rural state in the union. Personally, I'm running to the... I don't know. I don't know if it's the most rural state, man. I mean, what are you defining by rural? If you're talking about like rural, like there's people scattered all over. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have lived in states that is 100 miles between anybody. Anybody. Um... There are states like that. Like, check out Montana. I mean, there are large stretches of Zipola. That's rural. KDE Club. Everything else is toy garbage for this neo-newbie. Stop supporting it, much to my dismay. Hmm. Got lazy with the channel, but picking back up. Right. If that's so... So, uh, if that's so, could you sell me the mosquito laser or EMP? Uh, granted that it would ship to the EU. I don't know. Hey, kitty. Come on, bud. Come on. People want to see the kitty. Rawr. See? Hello, peoples. Hello. Yeah? You good kitty? Sit here and read comments with me? There you go. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Maybe we can figure it out. I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's see. 
Uh, my prediction for 2019, year of the Linux desktop. Yeah, let's just keep on saying that every year until it actually happens. There you go. That would work. Um, there you go. Okay. Fiat, uh, first person shooter games with mosquitoes. There you go. We're more drones. Wyoming and Nevada are way more rural. Yep. Indeed, they are. Yep. It's sad to switch to Linux, but if the world ends, it wouldn't be a bad thing. But as a Christian, we would want to see many more saved. Well, you know. Uh, well, I mean, nobody who is meant to be saved will be lost when the end finally comes. All right, if Google announced a full Linux desktop, will we have a Linux standard? Um, I don't know. They could do better at marketing, and then people would start looking more into Linux, and then they'd realize that, oh, Google's Linux sucks. Because <laughs> it probably would. So thank you. Uh, you th still think the U.S. will enter open conflict with either Russia or China to protect the petrodollar? Um, I don't know. I think we're already beginning a big cold war with Russia. Um, we're almost doing the same with China, but we're way too dependent on China still. I can go to my grave with mint 18, oh, uh, 18 one with no regrets. 18 one KDE folks. I think one of the other computers got 18 three KDE. I think, um, just keeping the upgrade path going. Well, that is that. Whoa. Why does everyone need to run Linux? Agreed, Tom, but that puts people's choice. Uh, but that's people's choice to accept God. Right. And the year of the Linux desktop is when you switch to Linux. Not very original, but true. There you go. Not an um, Arminian. Do Deepin 15.7 review looks good now. Really? I'm not a fan of Deepin either way, but anyway. Um, so things coming up. Um, things coming up. We're looking at tentatively, tentatively uh, doing a um, joint stream with Lewis Landon. He is a concert pianist. Uh, if you are into concert piano, um, if you use Spotify or Pandora or actually, um, I think Apple Music as well, you can actually stream directly on those. I don't actually use any of these, so I don't know what these are like. But um, uh, Lewis Landon is a um, concert pianist. He's been doing this for quite a long time. Um, and uh, we talked about uh, having, some, uh, having him on a show. He just released a new album here. If you still like CDs, you can pick one up at his store lewislandon.com forward slash store. The new one is Healing Hearts 4. And I think we can get some samples. Lewis, don't copyright strike me. Don't copyright strike me. Um, do I have desktop on? I don't have desktop recording on. Give me a second. Let me turn on desktop recording. There we go. So there's a small little uh, sample from his latest CD. Uh, so you can actually uh, check out his website for that. But we're talking about him coming on the show on the uh, 8th, which is two Saturdays from now. Uh, we're still kind of comparing schedules and making sure we can pull that off. But uh, you can otherwise check out his site and, at lewislandon.com. If you are into classical music uh, and you use Spotify or Pandora, go ahead and do that. I think he has Apple, too. Um, yeah, Apple Music as well. 
You can download iTunes, Amazon, Bandcamp, and CD Baby as well. So you can check out his uh, his website there for more information about what uh, he's go doing and to hear some samples of his music. Um, but if you do like classical piano, we're we'll talking about having him come on uh, come on the show in a couple weeks. <clears throat> All right, if the petrodollar collapses, the U.S. government is probably done for. Yep, probably. Uh, we can talk about that later sometime. Yep. Okay, it's called the BRIC nations. Brazil, Russia, India, China, where the economic war starts. Yeah, and China's done a really good job of uh, completely uh, strangleholding the entire United States economy. They've done a great job of that. Right, Kitty? Yeah, have they? Have they done a great job of that? Have they? All right. Um, and a lot of the reason is because every single we have, I mean, even everything, pretty much everything we have is made in China. My coffee cup's probably made in China. I mean, in reality. Deep in, try it with 8 gigs and 6th gen high core, high end core. Yeah, I don't know why I need to start a system with that. I don't know. So, uh, is it true that you have to be a Christian to enter heaven? Because if so, it would be kind of dumb. You have to accept the sacrifice of Jesus Christ to enter heaven. That is it. Um, there is no good path. There, there is no multiple mountaintops to heaven. There is no... Um, I've done X number of good deeds, so I'm going to get into heaven. All of our good deeds are filthy rags in the eyes of God. Only the righteousness of Christ can let us in. Okay, is deep in spyware or is it not? Um, there was a there was a link in the Deepin store that was essentially like a Chinese version of Google Analytics that has since been removed. So as of right now. Uh, the most recent version of Deepin, it seems to be the answer is no. Um, and it really was only in there for a couple of versions. It wasn't in there in the past. They added it in and then they ended up dropping it uh, after some controversy. So I would probably wager the most recent version. The answer is no. Great job for the Linux community. It's sad. A lot of people don't know about Linux. I know it is very sad. And really the best thing is just, just raise awareness to it. And, and really, as long as people use what they use intelligently, that's what I care about. I don't care if you stay on Windows or Mac. As long as you, as long as you know what you're getting into and, and uh, you take responsibility for that. That's honestly what, what it is. Uh, but thank you for that. Uh, what is the fastest and stable Linux distro? There really is not a single one that is fastest and most stable. What you need is a distro that's going to work because, because, I mean, some things work better on some hardware than others. Overall, for me, I have found that um, Linux Mint Cinnamon does a better job on more hardware. However, if you're doing an older uh, or a, either an older or a, um, a much lower system spec one, then cinnamon is a little heavy for that, and so that may not be the best option. So I personally like Linux Mint Cinnamon on most systems. I use Peppermint on my lower end stuff. Um, you just got to experiment to see what works best with your individual hardware. <clears throat> Okay, LFS, least bloated. If China gets the reserve currency flipped to theirs, say hello to the United States of Zimbabwe. Oh boy. Only Jewish Christian I know of. Hmm. You want to try Deepin? Try Manjaro's. It's actually better than Deepin. Yeah, I've tried it. I've tried the Deepin desktop on both Deepin and on Manjaro. I am simply not impressed with the desktop. Um, I think it's I think it's it's limited, bloated, and blah blah blah. I don't know. Not a fan. Microsoft, Google, and all big tech companies are just proxies for the government, like the mainstream media, because of the city. Hello. Oh, he just woke up. All right. You just woke up. I think you just woke up. But everybody, welcome Pizza Loving Nerd by saying pizza, pizza. All right. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about.
I guess uh, one thing here, since we are uh, just kind of kind of chatting through random stuff, don't forget to check out thinklifemedia.com. This is my personal supportal page, which has information on all three of my channels. Um, so I have the Christian channel, I have the Linux channel, and I have the cooking channel. The next cooking video, we have the footage ready to go. I just need to edit it out. It's going to be how to make cheese crackers. It's kind of like a cheese it um, um, uh, alternative, only it's much healthier because it's not full of all their poisonous chemicals. Um, we should be ramping back into the normal schedule for the Christian channel this week. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing Sunday videos for the channels or not. Uh, we will kind of see how the day unfolds today. Um, and of course, uh, ba so basically over here, without paying anything, just coming to the page, um, you can see the latest on all of my channels simultaneously. I do have my schedule posted over here, which I do need to make some adjustments to. Um, and uh, this, is, uh, this is actually advertiser supported on this, but once you log into the website, with a login account, then all of the ads will disappear. Um, we, there is an affiliate page, so any affiliates I currently have will be listed over here. Uh, so I currently have web hosting, VPNs, and Amazon for shopping. And so I have those options as well. You can learn about the support levels. Uh, so I have monthly and annual support levels. And unlike MoviePass, I'm not just gonna pull it out one of these days. Did you guys hear about that? MoviePass basically, took all of those annual subscribers and converted them to monthly. Um, kind of crazy. But uh, you can learn about all the different methods over here, the ways you can help support. Uh, and then there's a detailed page on each one of these, which has the latest posts for each one. So uh, you can come over here for the cooking channel. Come right on over here, watch the video. Here's the recipe put in here. You can download a PDF copy of the recipe. This is ad supported, but it has infinitely fewer ads than you will ever find on, um, uh, fewer ads than you will find on uh, any of the other recipe sites I've ever seen. Um, so you can see those over there. You can click right to the website. You can subscribe to the channel or visit the channel here. There are some uh, affiliates on the side there. Of course, Our Walk in Christ. Uh, this is a little different in that I have podcasts for Our Walk in Christ. So if you do listen to podcasts and uh, you are interested in Christian material, these are the daily walks. Eventually, I'll do the foundation studies as well. But for now, the daily walks are going up in the uh, podcast form. Um, and then uh, once I have those ready to go, then I'm going to get back to writing on that site as well. Then, of course, switch to Linux site uh, once again. And I've actually been posting all of the Friday night news articles are right over here on the site. So you can actually come right to, um, right to the switch to Linux site to get all of the articles listed from the Friday. I'm not sure I actually put this in yesterday's description, so I should make sure I get take care of that here today. Uh, so just uh, just be aware of that. Um, also, if you are uh, if you already use Patreon, um, you can actually just support me directly on Patreon as well. Patreon.com forward slash Tom M. If you are a patron supporter and you want a um, Think Life Media access, you just need to send me a message through Patreon. Tell me your desired username, uh, email address, and I will get that out to you. So that is how you can support me over there. And of course, we have uh, the shopping store, shop.switchedtolinux.com. So you can actually come over here. And of course, I have Switch to Linux, you fool. Uh, T-shirts, uh, backpacks, baby clothes. Yeah, Switch to Linux, you fool, on your baby uh, I have cats and tinfoil hats. I have that on coffee cups, backpacks, and the uh, shopping bags. And then I have the sub to the cat. The human's crazy. Um, I have this on uh, t-shirts, back, backpacks, things like that. And then of course, I have the traditional shirt, which I'm sporting today, which is the um, control your computer, control your life, switch to Linux shirts. And of course, really nice mouse pad over there as well. So you can take a look at that over there. That's a good way to help support the channel as well. And let's go on back to the comments here. See what we got in the comments. <clears throat> okay, I know pretty much everything about Ubuntu and it's borderline. Some packages can be used for backtracing. Pizza, pizza. 
Toss says, you are the OS. I am the OS. I am one with the OS. Okay, I'm in an iPad and autocorrect corrects words that are spelled right to other words. I know, isn't it annoying? Deepin is too system heavy. Yep, it's just under GNOME, in fact. Thinking about adding ads to my blog, however, I will not annoy you if you use an ad blocker. Yep, that's it. You know, that's the thing. Some people like to disable ad blockers on a site that's not offensive with their ads to help support the creators. That's absolutely true, and it's absolutely good. Um, that's why I run it. If you want to run an ad blocker, I don't care. You know, go for it. I don't care. Um, how do you make a podcast? Um... You need to have a place to host the podcasts. Um, I have um, I have affiliate links to Blueberry, which is that actually the the best free one that I know of right now is Podomatic. Um, so if you use uh, Podomatic for theirs, I I just use their free version um, because I have tons and tons and tons of hosting space. And uh, I actually host mine myself on my uh, web servers. And so that's kind of how I do mine. But using Podomatic, this is the best one to do a free um, to do a free podcast, which it limits you to like 500 megabytes of space, I think, which is a lot if you properly are, are properly sizing your audio files. This will allow you to get your podcast out there. And then once you have this, then you can link it to all the different podcast feeds. The downside, of course, is you're relying on an external group. That's why I host my own, because mine are also listed on Google Play. They're listed on Apple. The only one they're not listed on is Spotify, because it's very hard to get your podcasts on Spotify. They don't just let anybody post to them, unlike the other ones. And then there's... Um, I know there's a whole, there's a dozen different podcast places. So you just got to get the audio file and then you post the audio file up on a hosting platform. Like I said, I'm using uh, Podomatic uh, for the only reason I'm using Podomatic is that's the only free one that'll allow you a potential link into Spotify. Um, but uh, I don't like it. What I don't like about it is that I have to upload all my podcasts twice instead of just once and pushing out the feeds. So I do mine on uh, actually on my uh, website, which is the Our Walk in Christ website. So this is where I do uh, mine. And then what I have them linked to right now is just blog posts. I'm going to be redesigning the site and moving the location of the podcast to a special podcast uh, post type because this theme just does not set for that. So basically you go into your WordPress core and then um, you add the ability to put in the podcast and then it will show up here so you can play it right from the website or you can subscribe. Here's the uh, Apple podcast uh, link, the Android podcast link or the RSS feed. So then I just have the direct RSS feed for this. So anything that you have that you could subscribe to this. So here on Linux, you can go into Rhythmbox, which I'm not sure I have installed. Of course I don't. Why would I have Rhythmbox installed? Uh, you can actually go into Rhythmbox and you can manually put in the podcast feed uh, or you can use gpotter. Let me see if gpotter's on here. Nope. You can use gpotter and, um, uh, and paste in the feed or on Rhythmbox, you can just search for the podcast by name because that will search the iTunes podcasts. And since I have it linked at iTunes, then uh, that will allow you to find it anywhere. So basically, you could find the podcast anywhere but Spotify. It's pretty much cross-listed. All right. You should do a Linux podcast. Uh, eventually, I will. Um, I need more direct supporters because it takes time to do all this kind of stuff. And uh, the more time, you know, the more support I have to do the content creation, the less time I have to spend doing web design stuff. So it's on the list of things I want to do. It's just a matter of when will I have time to do it. Kernel loops. Or is it kernel ops? Ooh, kind of like black ops. Love to see more weekend content, even if it means less content during the week. Hmm. Braves got that covered, huh? Hmm. 
Our role economically was that the paid shopper, not geopolitics, is pulling the rug from under us. Yeah. More people seem to be available on weekend than uh, I would imagine. Yeah, probably. And we have 44 on last night. We peaked at 72 on the live stream. Last night we peaked at 72. Today we have 44 right now. So, However, I think noon to 1 is better for the Saturday podcasts. Uh, like I said, I, I'm busy most of the rest of the day, so we'll see what happens. Waiting for my mom to bring my laptop charger to my dad so I can type instead of using the iPad keyboard. <laughs> there you go. So it needs to make, and you're using an ad block blocker. <laughs> that would just be funny. And then ad block blockers are going to come out with an, with an ad block blocker, ad block blocker. And then it's just going to get, it's just going to go downhill from there. It's going to be spiral out of control. We'll have the infinite ad block fight. Same thing that happened a couple years ago with Facebook and uh, an ad blocker, right? Facebook was trying to get around ad blocker and ad blocker kept on blocking them. And it's like, dude, Facebook, you're going to, you're going to lose because we have this team of volunteers that is passionate about it. You guys are a company. I mean... I'm not sure whatever happened there, but humans have the ultimate abilities of creation and destruction. So Christianity makes some sense. Yeah. A great ad blocker. It's called a back button. Yep. Going to do any new content today at pizza, pizza, pizza. Maybe do some well thought out planned pre-recorded stuff. Just Googled SM and regret it now. Hmm. Working on a new series, Why I Hate Insert Company Here. The first episode will be on Subway. <laughs> it's a matter of what pays my bills for me. Yep, that's right. I can deal with a little tracking just so I ain't going to see annoying ads. Yeah, there you go. Two bad experiences with Subway. I haven't really had any. Like, I like Jersey Mike's, but man, they're expensive. I got to go track down the Jimmy John's in my town. I haven't had Jimmy John's in a while. I think that they're the perfect balance. They're like Jersey Mike's, but cheaper. Last I knew, but it'll we'll kind of see. Like, I like Jersey Mike's, but man, just a, an 8-inch sub is like $8. I get a 12-inch at Subway for, for 5 and I like it better. Adblocker is bad. It's data-taking app. Ublock Origin is better. It's open source. It doesn't take your data. Yeah, I just use a custom host file, and that, that does it. Mint Brave is good because you don't see the ads, but I don't completely trust it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of it either. Um, let's see. What other shameless marketing can I do today? There you go. Uh, all right. I guess the other thing is this is the runoff proof of testing and temptations. So I'm getting one more coming in here and to do the final approval of the book, and then it will be finally released. Um, just a reminder, you can get more information at uh, actually at testingontemptations.com. I think it's testingontemptationsbook.com. I forget. It looks right to my uh, page here on the site. Um, right now, you can pick up the... Uh, the book on sale. I did push up the sale price on the book to September 15th, which is when they will ship by. So if you buy a hard copy of the book directly from Our Walk in Christ, those will ship by September uh, 15th. Ebooks are available now. These are on sale right now. Uh, $2.99 will get you both ebooks. Uh, so get over here. The other book is a parody. Uh, you can get both ebooks uh, until September 15th for $2.99. After that, the price goes back up to $3.99. You can actually get the double softbook cover pack for $12.99 on sale right now. They'll ship when uh, both books are available. The, I have tons of Art of Shallow Neighboring, so the Testing on Temptations is 
Uh, I'm still waiting to get the final print, print runs. Um, those will go up to $14.99, which is a great deal if you want both books. Unfortunately, I do only ship to the United States right now. Um, and so uh, that is something to keep in mind. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to pick them up on Amazon if you're international. Um, as far as just testing on temptations, the prices range from 99 cents for the ebook that will go up to 249 after September 15th for the ebook. 899 gets you the book as soon as it's ready and 999 gets you the ebook today and the print book later. And of course, Art of Shallow Neighboring is 249 for the ebook and 1049 for the, uh, for the, uh, the regular book. And so, um, with that being said, um, you can take a look at those. Of course, they're going to be available on Amazon. Tessie on Temptations may not be on Amazon yet. Um, if you do find it over there, it's probably the old copy. Um, so wait until you see the new title cover. Um, and for comparison, this is the old, this copy is the old one. Um, so if you're what you're buying is this copy. This is no longer in print. You might be able to find copies still, but it's not in print anymore. This is the new print copy, so make sure you're grabbing the right one. Uh, the new one is far superior to the old one. All right. First time I ordered BLT salad online, they hadn't even started to make it until we got online. Got in line, I guess. So they made my salad and charged us even though we had already paid online. Wow. The grinders in your neck or the woods? They forgot bacon on the BLT. Well, I mean, th th how do you forget bacon on a BLT? That's just an LT, man. It's light, I guess. Gave me a buy one, get one free coupon instead of a refund. I'd be like, no, give me a refund. I don't know. Um, ad blocker, ad blocker blockers. Yep. Typing on mobile makes me look like I have bad English because of autocorrect. <laughs> See you, Noah. Uh, service issue, mine are food issues. Infinite redundancy. I think infinite, re infinite is redundant on its own. Autocorrect. <laughs> <Crap sucks. laughs> just give up man we understand we understand <laughs> blockers 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 yeah hello tom joiner greetings you joinered us at the very end uh yeah you missed most of it i'll go through and just do a brief summary at the end AK sandwiches, AK grind. I've never heard of recurve as grinders. All right, so what we were talking about is the um, the fact that that it has become this big trend now that anybody who doesn't like somebody can dig back for like all eternity on social media and dig up some silly thing, no matter how much in or out of context, and use that to run a uh, a crusade against uh, against people for really no good reason other than you just don't like them or something. And so I'm, I'm proposing a statute of limitations on social media, which would probably, in my opinion, I think that would kind of more or less look like, um, it would kind of more or less look like, uh, I would say a law saying anything past a certain age on social media could not be used in any way against somebody. Um, outside of unless it were part of a current present ongoing pattern um, because and I'd say you know maybe social media companies could just delete it but I think that that's really up to the person for example Philip DeFranco says you know he says he has a lot of uncouth stuff that's still back there he keeps up the, for archival purposes to show how far somebody could grow and some people might want to do that um, so leave that in the hands of the individual people who are most interested in that. Uh, that's really kind of the, the best approach to it. Um, that being said, uh, that being said, um, I think that it's better just say, hey, any social media past a certain time, 
a mandate saying you cannot use that against somebody unless they've had a regular present ongoing pattern of that. That's kind of my thing. So we need some degree of statute of limitations on social media to prevent people not liking somebody from just digging through somebody's past, just trying to find something to, to crucify them with. Uh, do you use the advert blocker in Peppermint 9? Yes, I do. In addition to a big host of, custom host file, so... All right. Unlike Tom Cruise, I don't have dyslexia. My fingers are dyslexic, though. There you go. Grinder is a hookup app for LGBT. Yeah, what? Like, what is this? I mean, I A just showed up. There were supposed to be a couple P's. We need S in there because straight people are definitely being uh, marginalized at this point. I mean, what's going on with all this? It's just alphabet soup. Uh, the fact they know what that means and uh, and I care and try to be understanding people's lifestyle. Social media is evil. Yep. My other bad experience was went to Subway on a school field trip. There was a food court with a Subway. So I get in line to get a sandwich and ask. I asked for and they charged me as a meal. Yep. All right. Well, I think we got to the bottom of the comments. Oh, I think I'm going to wrap this guy up. We've been driving this story here for about an hour. So, I don't know. Can I find a kitty right now? Oh, kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Oh, we got a kitty. Houston, we got one. Come on. This way. Come on. Right here. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get us back to the, to the feed the kitty. Yeah, we're going to feed the kitty, buddy. We're going to feed the kitty. There. All right. Right there. Get us, right there. Get us some of that paw action going there, buddy. Get us some of that paw action. Right there, buddy. Get us some of the paw action. Right there. Get it. Yeah, good job. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Houston, Houston, Houston. We got a double catter. Yeah, I'll get you too, girl. Come here. Your turn. Oh, it's your turn. Here you go. Huh? Here you go. Oh, tasty treat. Yeah, have a kitty treat. She usually likes kitty treats. I'm not sure what her deal is right now. There you go. You're just not as impressed about kitty treats, are you? Yeah? No? All right. She's like, all right, I have my kitty treat. I'm out of here. There's a camera running. <laughs> Houston, we had a double catter. We had a double catter. Double catter. All right. Let's see. How'd you find that out? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Which includes chips. So after I went to grab chips, the employee said, Hey, why are you grabbing chips? Because you charged me the meal. So then I want to eat. Oh, Lord. I didn't want chips in the first place. So I said they are stale. Can I get a refund? Sorry, you already ate a chip. Wow. There's no statute of limitations on this stream. Yep, yeah, I'm telling you. All right, I'm going to remove the comments in languages that I can't speak. Whoa, don't report. Just remove. All right. Uh, one is supposed to be pansexuality. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this guy up. So thanks for coming along on today's Switch to Linux. We will catch you guys later. Um... All right, dude. All right, you're getting you're getting reported. Yep. Bye. Let's see. Let's do spam later. Bye, Antonio. All right, guys. Right at the very end too. <laughs> All right. Well, we will catch you guys later. And um, uh, well, we have told him to stop using it, and he generally does. So yes. Um. We, uh, carbon is not doing Chinese on my streams anymore. So, 
All right, guys, we'll catch you guys later, and uh, have yourselves a wonderful afternoon, and there may or may not be a Switch to Linux video tomorrow. Just don't know yet. We will catch you all later. Have a good one. Peace out, yo.